Welcome to Letterland Story Corner. Today's story is Talking Tess and Her Tent by Lisa Holt. It's time to meet the tallest lady in Letterland. She's called Talking Tess and she's always talking. She talks on the telephone all day long. She even takes her tiny telephone on trains and in taxis as she travels about. She works in Teletouch Tower and it is her job to keep everyone in Letterland in touch with each other. Talking Tess says T in words like train, tree and ten. Today, Tess has got her ticket for the train because she is going on her very first camping trip. She tapped her travel bag excitedly. She had packed some trousers, tops, t-shirts and even tucked in a tennis racket and her teddy. She remembered her toothbrush and toothpaste too. Firefighter Fred told her that her tent would be ready for her at 10 o'clock. At the campsite, there were all sorts of different shaped and sized tents to put up. I better take that bell tent, said Bouncy Ben, because I need lots of room to bounce around. He started tapping in pegs. It was up in no time. I've decided on the dome tent, said Dippy Duck. I do need space to dance. I'm happy with just a hammock, said Harry, tying it between two trees. I'll take the wigwam, said Walter Walrus. It will be wonderfully wide for me. Yes, and I'll take that yurt, said Yellow Yo-Yo Man. It's yellow too. Clever Cat and Vicky Violet had not picked up a bag with a tent in it. It's cold. I like to be cosy and comfortable, said Clever Cat. We could just cuddle up in my camper van, suggested Vicky Violet. Very, Very clever. clever, they said together, and they sat inside and drank some cocoa. Sammy Snake sat down on his sleeping bag and said, Whose tent is that? It's very tall and shaped like a triangle. Oh no, I forgot, said Firefighter Fred, fumbling with his frame tent. Talking Tess is trusting me to put that tent up for her. She's arriving at ten o'clock and now I don't have time. Don't fret, we'll all help, said the Letterlanders and they picked up pegs and started tapping them in. But it was a tricky tent to put up. The tall sticks had to be tied together at the top. It tilted and toppled as they tried. This is a tent for a very tall person, they agreed. Annie Apple did the best she could while hanging onto a twig on a tall tree, but it was not tied tightly. Talking Tess arrived and said, It's terrific and so tall like me. Tell me, what type of tent is it? Is it a teepee? Tremendous! They tried to tell her that it was not tied too tightly at the top yet, but she hadn't stopped talking. Just in time, Peter Puppy jumped up and said, Don't touch it yet, Tess. Please tie it before you pat. <laughs>